let's move on to our wall axis. Start off with an explode. Let's join it with our rectangle here. Let's add in a list item. Join it through our segments. And uh, we want to get we want to get ourselves a negative value and a new positive one. And just to make sure we're using these correctly, we will now apply a middle curve or curve middle in this case. Copy and paste, put it there, and they should be in the proper alignment of the wall, like so. Next up, let's get ourselves a line and let's connect these two middle points. Let's add in a connect curves. Connect curves. Okay. Let's place in our line. Okay, looking good. Um, for the part of the continuity, let's add in a double dash two. Place it in there. Now we want to add in a toggle boolean or boolean toggle. Let's place it into our close. And as for the buckle, I'm, I'm going to give it a fixed value of 0.5, which is easier. Okay. And of course, do not forget to flatten these. All right. Okay, looking nice. Next up, let's flip this curve. Let's join this into a new group. I'm going to call this one wall axes. I'm going to hide these. Moving on. Let's add in a um, multiplication and in this case we uh, we want to add in our our initial value back here let's actually bring it up here to make it more visible we can also hide this one here and as for this value here we can we can place in a uh, one number slider and then let's go into it and let's change uh, this value to 0.45 like that. We uh, don't want it going going over the um, the turrets um, half half width. So this 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 range of values will do will do perfectly. Okay, next up we want to add in a negative value like that, and also add in an offset. And now we want to place in these values like this. Let's bring this up to the front, and now we can connect our curve into there to make our proper offset. Like that. Okay. Okay, next up, we need to make a dispatch. This. Let's flatten these uh, values here, and now we can make a ruled surface. Looking nice. Whenever there's this kind of uh, crossing, my advice is always to either move your your points or just change this uh, this height to a to a higher number. So in this case, 15 should should do it fine. Next up we want to place in a uh, region trim with uh, regions. Okay. And we want to also pick up on our on our rectangle here. And to do this, I will add in a geometry. I want to join it into there. Let's bring it all the way up to the front here. Now let's connect. Well, actually, let's copy and paste this first. Uh, let's flatten all of these values. So let's flatten curve region, and here we'll do the same thing. So curve and region, like so. And uh, in this case, we want to add in our ruled surface to the region area. 
and we want to add our offsetted curves into the curve area here. As for this geometry, we now want to place it into the remaining slots. Okay, looking good, looking good. Next up, we want to make a uh, join curves and we want to place in our outside value of uh, both of these components. We can now also hide all of these. Now let's flatten these down, make it easier. And uh, let's add a simplify curve and also a flip curve. Flip curve. Okay, let's uh, select these, let's hide them. Now we can pick up this entire group. I'm going to call this one top line. Yeah, that's our uh, top line. To make our bottom line, let's start off here with a project. Here, let's join in our curve. We can now hide this one here. And uh, in this case, we want to make to place in a new brep, and let's reassign our current surface here. Now let's do a bounding box. Let's add in a deconstruct brep. And let's do a list item. Let's set in our faces into the list item and uh, let's place in a value of 4 into the index. Just make sure that the face that is selected is your uh, bottom one. And we can place that into our breath. Should go under there. Tidy this up nicely. Okay. Next up, let's add in an offset, offset curve. Placing our curve there, and um, I'm going to place in a value of about five for our for our distance, and uh, a flip curve. Once again, select the entire group, make a group. We can call this one bottom line. Next, let's add our battlements. So let's add in an explode tree. Let's let's add in this this output into our new input. Let's let's graph both of these values here. We can now bring it down to get a bit more space. And uh, let's add in a ruled surface to connect them both. We should have roughly eight. Uh, surfaces here exactly and uh, next up we need to place in a divide domain squared let's add this value into here and now depending a bit on uh, how how you want these uh, elements to uh, be it really it it will really depend on which number you want but but in this case for the for the v count i'm just going to, to use one and for the uh, u count i will use 25 to make the proper division next up we place in a surface box we can we can then add in our domain and our surface yeah just like that okay let's uh, hide these which we will not be needing as for the height, I'm going to place in a 10.0, but uh, since that is really high, I will bring this value down to, let's say, 1. Should be about enough. Actually, I'm going to bring this up to about 2. Next up, we need to add in a uh, box morph. Box morph. Let's place in the, this value as our target. Let's add in a new brep, and in this case we want to assign our battlements, right there. Bounding box, 
place it into here, place the reference into there, the geometry into here. Okay, and that's how we set up our battlements. Let's, um, actually I'm gonna, gonna graph this. Okay. Now we can put this into a group. I'm gonna call this one battlements. To bring it all together, let's go back here to our previous group here for the turrets. Let's add in a geometry, place in the geometry there. We can now hide this. Let's move this one all the way up to the front. Down here would be best. Um, and now to make the actual wall, since this is essentially floating, we just need to add in a loft here and uh, in this case we can actually make something a little bit simpler which is we can place this curve into here we can uh, get rid of these and now simply add them into our curves here let's flatten the these down and they should give you the result you are seeing here now so now let's give it some color let's add in a preview custom preview. I'm gonna add in a swatch. I'm gonna give it the uh, trademark color here like that. Let's add it into here. Same thing with this one and of course with this one. Alright, that's essentially how you set up your uh, very own uh, great parametric wall wall of China. If you start to see that uh, part of your geometry is uh, messing up, my best advice is simply to uh, move these uh, points around until you manage to simply unclog it, let's say. Yeah. So now, simply by adjusting these points, you can essentially place this uh, parametric wall however you see, you see fit. Okay guys, thank you so much for uh, watching this tutorial. Uh, I really hope you've, uh, you've liked it. Please do not forget to leave a like and to subscribe. It really helps the, uh, the YouTube algorithm and of course me. And um, I hope to see you here next time. Cheers!